Hey everyone, Kyle here from Poseidon's Pets. So today what I got for you guys is top five things you should keep in any shrimp tank. So these top five things are things that I recommend to have in every shrimp tank. I'm just gonna dive into this. You guys are gonna see what those top five things are. So top five must haves in any shrimp tank. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get to it. Now, if you wanna breed a ton of shrimp just like this, these are the five things that I suggest in every shrimp tank. So these five things added to your shrimp tank is just going to improve your colony's lives as well as has some added benefits to it. So if you love these shrimp here and you would love to have a shrimp tank that has tons of shrimp in it just like this, follow these steps, purchase these items, and you'll be good to go. You'll be breeding thousands of shrimp before you know it. You'll have more than you know what to do with. Number five on my list is floating plants. So floating plants give a spot for babies to live in as well as they help to purify the water, help to remove nitrates from your water. So this is gonna help the shrimp and have that good quality water that you need for the shrimp. So floating plants, whether it's frog bit, salvinia minima, water lettuce, whatever you have, Floating plants are definitely a necessity in any shrimp tank, even duckweed. If you have duckweed, duckweed serves its purpose. It's gonna help to pull that nitrogen out of the tank and it's gonna provide a spot for baby shrimp to live. So definitely get your hands on some floating plants. That way you have this item in your shrimp tank. So number five, floating plants. So number four on my list, driftwood. So my driftwood of choice is choya wood. I absolutely love choya wood. I have it in all of my shrimp tanks and driftwood is going to help to release tannins into the water as well as it's going to help to release that humic acid into the water which is going to help your shrimp just thrive and grow. As this driftwood breaks down it's going to help to create microflora and microfauna that your baby shrimp can live on. So that microflora and microfauna is something that the baby shrimp can eat as well as the adults. So as this wood breaks down, you're gonna notice the adult shrimp grazing on it as well as your babies. So driftwood is an all time must have in any shrimp tank, whether it's Malaysian driftwood, Troya wood, there's all kinds of driftwood that you can get, but there's so many good benefits from having driftwood in your tank. So if you don't, definitely add this piece to your tank. So number four, driftwood. Number three on my list is something that everybody should be familiar with. So Indian almond leaves or catapa leaves is something that every shrimp tank needs. So these leaves are a great food source for your shrimp as well as your baby shrimp. So just like driftwood, these leaves are gonna break down. They're gonna release tannins. They're gonna release that humic acid. They're gonna help to promote that biofilm growth as well as help to create that microflora and microfauna that your baby shrimp and adult shrimp can live on. So what you're doing is you're creating this little ecosystem in these shrimp tanks. Shrimp are tiny creatures and they need those microflora and microfauna to survive. So you wanna create the best environment you can and having leaf litter in your tank, whether it's Indian almond leaves, oak leaves, mulberry leaves, you want some type of leaf litter in your tank. So number three, Indian almond leaves. Number two on my list, alder cones. So alder cones are great at helping to lower pH of a tank. And with Caridina shrimp, you definitely want to have a lower pH because they are an acidic shrimp. So they definitely like that lower pH. But just like driftwood, just like Indian almond leaves, alder cones are gonna help to release those tannins, that humic acid, which is gonna help your shrimp just grow, thrive, and be happy. It's also a great place for microflora and fauna to live on. So you're kind of seeing a theme here. We're creating these little micro ecosystems and we want to have that microflora and fauna thrive. So number two, alder cones. Go get some. Now, drum roll please. Number one, moss. I don't care what kind of moss you get. Sabwasi Tang is the best, but that's what I'm saying. So moss is an absolute must have in any shrimp tank. It's gonna provide the excellent hiding place for babies. It is gonna provide the excellent space for microflora and fauna to grow and live and thrive, as well as it's going to help to pull out 
all of those nitrates in your aquarium. So moss is my number one must have in any shrimp tank. There's just so many benefits to having it and tanks seem to do so much better when you have moss. So what you see here is just a large clump of sublacertane. Got my tangerine tigers and aura blues kind of crowding around there and a feeding pile on some food. But what other, whatever moss you get, whether it's Java moss, Christmas moss, sublacertane, pila, moss is the absolute must have in any tank. And it, it just makes every tank look so much better. Plus you can sit there and watch the shrimp for hours just moving in and out of that ball of moss, they, they absolutely love it. You'll notice that they, they interact with it more than most things. So that's why I would say that moss is the number one must have in any shrimp tank. So number one, moss. Go get some sublosser tank. Absolutely need it, put it in your shrimp tank, just like this, just like this guy here. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. You know, now you know those top five must haves for any shrimp tank. As always, if you love me, you love my shrimp, my fish, you love my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell too. That way you're notified of all my future content. So do me a huge favor, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video and let me know if there's anything you feel is a must have in a shrimp tank. So that way we can add that to the list as well. So like I said, now you know, top five must haves in a shrimp tank. So thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.